today um i'm gonna i'm gonna give a few pointers of what pyro cynical said because the video is 22 minutes long and i'm only going to give some of the key points that pyro cynical addressed i'm going to use this video to address the allegations made against me Recently, to those who are unaware, I've been accused of grooming a 15-year-old boy when I was 19. That I'm some kind of predator and was aware of his age all along. This is categorically untrue and a complete lie. The supposed proof for these insane allegations is paper thin and embarrassingly wrong. I originally made a response on my subreddit and I truly believe the evidence I provided was enough. And for a time it was. But a few days ago, a fully written Google Doc has surfaced claiming that I have lied in my response and I'm 100% guilty. I just want to be clear, I have never lied at any point. This document is disingenuous manipulative and it fails to include so much of my original statement bringing new information to light but also making points to prove my guilt that i already proven to be untrue in my first statement it's managed to fool so many people like uh, i see video after video of people now saying that i'm a liar and he claims here that pyro could have actually been lying in his response here they already kind of have this notion that he did it and he's not responding so it looks pretty guilty on his part to a lot of people now this is the main part of the Google Doc that really set me off. I believe this piece of evidence is enough to say Pyro is in the wrong. Whether Pyro does respond to everything or just pulls a mini lad and ignores it for as long as he can is still up in the air. This document makes like insane assumptions based on limited and broken evidence. It's not hard to dismantle it. It's just annoying that I have to be the one to do it. For those who haven't read the entirety of my original response, let me give a little background. When I was 19 and 20, I liked to take part in this degenerate fairy roleplay with pretty much anyone that would reciprocate. And looking back on it now, the word cringe, that doesn't near do enough justice to how sad this all was. These conversations never led to any nudes being exchanged. It was just purely fantasy garbage, something which Ivory himself confirms. Did he ever ask you for nudes? Mm -mm. No. No. What these people look like, their gender, these weren't variables. Like, I could have been doing this with a 90-year-old cave troll and it wouldn't have made a difference. It was roleplay after all. We were just pretending. Now it turns out my accuser, Ivory, one of the people that I've had these conversations with, was 15. That's three to four years younger than I was. It was entirely my responsibility to verify his age before having these conversations. And the fact that I didn't, that is so incredibly negligent of me to do so. I may have been young myself, but still old enough to know better. But let me be very clear. I had absolutely no idea that he was 15. I absolutely did not lie in my original Reddit post, and I would like to emphasize that. Ivory himself did not disclose to me directly that he was 15, and the evidence itself supports this too. Up until September this year, I'd be perfectly cool with him. We were still speaking and still on very good terms. However, for one reason or another, he felt the need to come out about these allegations. To expose that I'm a sexual predator, I took advantage of him, and I knew his age all along. This is all untrue, and I am amazed how out of proportion this is all blown up. Several of our conversations were leaked online by Ivory. Here's one of the more uh, damning ones. I'd love for my sonar to be licking at his fat, sweaty ass while rubbing his belly from behind, and then just having him gas all over my sonar's face. That would be so nice. Or if mine was just underneath him, getting railed underneath his huge belly and your son could be gassing non-stop as he fucks mine like huh well so to do the first recap pyro mentioned that the google document was completely untrue and a lie for instance the Allegations were paper thin and embarrassingly wrong. And I knew they that I knew that the Google document from Turkey Tom came out, but I never looked into it because Well, actually I did look into it. 
and I don't really believe any of that still because it still has some of the poor evidence that Ivory himself did not do a careful search after Ivory waited over like a year to say it to uh, come up with the allegations. And keep in mind, we are in an era where uh, millions of Earthlings are continually to die. So I don't think it was the best of Ivory's interest to put out this statement so late at the wrong time where things are already difficult as they are. And Pyro, as I believed, as I mentioned in my very last videos about it, that had his Reddit statement, he provided the evidence that that was enough. And I 100% agree, because what Pyro did in a statement, if you if you read the whole thing, was that he completely provide debunked everything from there, and I agreed with that from the last time I made a video about it, which was like a month ago. It was a month ago since I made that last video about about Ivory's false claims and why he lied about it. And, you know, I thought that was the end. But recently, Ivory came out with a not very vague statement right around Thanksgiving that uh, he was going to let it go. Which I'll show you in a moment after Pyro's response that I'm going to do another recap on. And uh, you won't like what you'll have to see when I when I show you that. Then Pyro goes on to say that the poorly written Turkey Tom Google document claimed Pyro lied. Um And is 100% guilty. But that was false. And you know. I didn't want to make a video claiming that Pyro Cynical lied. Because, you know, I actually waited for Pyro Cynical to come out with a response. And here we are today because of the Turkey Tom document that was poorly written. And you know, I never want to believe that any content creator would be 1% guilty. Unless there's actual evidence to support it, which there was not. That is why I did not bother to to believe that the document was true. Even though I watched Tricky Tom's video, I did not believe it 100% because of that reason. Pyro went on to mention that some people in the commentary community think that he lied. And I disagree with that 100%. The reason is because that the commentary community are the ones who lied that uh, that like Pyro Cynical and said that Pyro Cynical actually knew the age of Ivory when in fact he didn't. And I'll explain more as to why. The reason is, 
if you were a famous YouTuber, and I'm sure most of you are, and you get a lot of DMs or or uh, basically tweets, aka mentions, on Twitter and on other social, social media platforms, you can't basically read all of them as you've been bombarded by people adding you on Twitter every single second. And Ivory, even though he mentioned his age millions of times, Pyro still did not see it. Given the fact that if you are a celebrity, you would know that you get lots of tweets from people and you can't read all of them, which is why Pyro did not really knew Ivory's age. If he did knew Ivory's age, yeah, he would have asked, which is what I'm going to get to now. Pyro did admit that he was not mentioned about his age by not asking. However, Ivory did not ask him directly that he was 15. And this is another part. Ivory did not technically told him in DMs that he was 15. And until Ivory turned 16 is was when he actually put his age in the bio. Despite Ivory not putting his age in the bio when he turned 15 at the time of talking with Pyro. Art here. My god. He's provided a lot of proof like this to show how much of a degenerate I was, and I, I mean, I agree, you know. You got me. Now, the whole world pretty much knows what I jerk off to, but what he and no one else has done is come close to substantiating how this constitutes as grooming. Ivory himself even struggles to explain how what I did was grooming. Um... How are you grouped? Because you don't need to be groomed for this to be wrong. Is it really fair that you, that, that you use the word grooming? And if, you, if, if that's true, if you feel that's true, where was this going? Like thumbnail. Do you honestly believe? Did you not understand the definition of the word? I, I feel like it was like forcing a or like manipulating the child into a like sexual situation. Okay. Yeah, right. that's what that's what that word means to me. Did this Now I'm going to do a second recap. I'm simply says that Ivory struggled to mention what the word grooming is. Ivory himself admitted that he didn't know the, defini the definition of the word grooming correctly. Ivory thought that that the word grooming fits, even though he didn't take a hard look at the definition of the word at the word before he did a whole expose expose today on uh, Pyro because if Pyro actually groomed him like I said if Pyro like I said 
in my last couple of videos ago. If I actually did groom him, then it would have to be directly at the person, not online. But this is what I seem seem to would fit. He thought he would use it because he thinks that you can be groomed online too, which I don't think that's how it works. I mean, take take a puppy for example. You've been grooming a puppy for I know an hour or so because the puppy needs to be pampered up. That would be considered the definition of grooming what grooming is to me. If you were going to groom, you would be grooming a puppy. Or basically a dog, as a puppy turns into a dog when they're no longer a puppy. That's my definition of what the word grooming actually means. Yeah, right. that's what that's what that word means to me. To disprove this, I'd actually have to see something to disprove, but there's there's literally nothing. It's a blanket statement of Paracynical groomed me. The only thing I can possibly think of is inviting him and a bunch of other people to an event in the UK. And somehow this got spun as me buying him a plane ticket to fly him out to have sex with him. Even even if you lie, which can't be proven, a 20 year old guy flying a 16 year old boy out to fuck him in England. Um, I don't care what the law is. Most people find that disgusting. That's why Pyro's losing. Uh, Sive, PewDiePie's editor, is one of the many people I invited to this event. And he agrees. The claim is just complete bullshit. I never thought in my life I'd have to ever justify something like this. But I do remember back in 2017, Nal invited me and a bunch of other people to drink with him. And I remember telling Nal very last minute that I couldn't come. So I pretty much waited on him. To say something sexual was going to happen in a very public event with a load of people, even people now didn't even know and wasn't really close with. It's just false, seriously. There's just no question about that. I really don't understand how you can reach the conclusion that I invited him just to have sex with him. I invited him casually, no plane ticket was purchased, no specific handmade invite was sent. It was flippant, nonchalant, and that exact same invite was copied and pasted word for word to dozens of people. Ivory himself even said he did not get any sexual tones from this. When he invited you, was there any kind of indication that uh, it was sort of a date um, in any way? Uh, that there would be a, a wink-wink, date-like act of sexual interaction? Did he give you that idea at all? He didn't, like, if he was, I didn't pick up on it. I mean, yeah, we shared some fat fairy art. We had some weird fantasy roleplay, but there was no sexual interest. There were no nudes exchanged. His name, his appearance, it wasn't important to me. I didn't even know what he looked like at this point. I mean, if he linked me a picture or something, I would have forgotten it because it was just that irrelevant to me. But I'm going to jump from... I mean, yeah, we shared some fat fairy art, we had some weird fantasy roleplay, but there was no sexual interest. There were no nudes exchanged, his name, his appearance, it wasn't important to me. I didn't even know what he looked like at this point. I mean, if he linked me a picture or something, I would have forgotten it because it was just that irrelevant to me. But I'm going to jump right ahead anyway and invite him to come over just for sex. Okay, now this document, it tries really, really hard to prove that I knew Ivory's age despite the fact that they have nothing concrete. Paracynical never saw any of the tweets of Ivory explicitly saying that he was 15 years old on an account Paracynical follow and interacted with regularly. They then provide a list of Ivory stating his age multiple times on Twitter. So if I'm so sure that I didn't know he was 15, how would I have missed this? This is something I said in my original Reddit statement. He never once disclosed the fact that he was 15 at the time his exchanges commenced. He didn't include his age in his bio until he was 16, but I was not on Twitter between the 28th of December 2016 
until the 29th of June 2017, as I was suspended. It would have been a hell of a lot less likely for me to see all but one of these tweets that's been used as evidence in this Google Doc. My Reddit post clearly shows that I was suspended from Twitter at the time that they were made, and that of course leaves the very last one, but like, what are the chances of you catching one specific tweet when you follow hundreds of people? I brought this up in my Reddit post as well, but it's been deliberately left out as some like shit attempt at manipulation. I find it funny, like, the <laughs> They're acting like I'm hiding something, when ironically, that's exactly what they're doing here. Literally, all, all they needed to do was read my Reddit post. It, it's not even that long, man. It's a page. The next two points the doc make. This is something that I have to add as well. While Pyrocynical did invite it, I agreed to an event in the UK. No sexual stuff was actually exchanged, as Pyrocynical explained. He and Ivory did share pet fairy art. Then, Pyro would never invite it. And I added here that Pyro would never invite Ivory to come just for sakes. So, like, Pyro was actually being nice to Ivory when he nicely gave him an invite to an event. And I'm not sure if Ivory declined, but if he did. Well then that was okay. Going further. As I mentioned in like what a couple of recordings, a couple of recordings later, like two or three or one, I mentioned this about the suspension and the time he was on Twitter. He last what was on Twitter. Pyro debunks this claim that he knew Ivory's age at the time of his June 29th suspension. <clears throat> Excuse me. And and he gets thousands of tweets from his fans regularly. Like probably all through December long he got thousands of tweets regularly from his fans. And if Pyro were to see that tweet, that one tweet on December 16, which is highly unlikely, then Pyro would have then to to know Ivory's age at the time that he mentioned so many times. But he wasn't there the day a few days after Christmas when he was when he was taking a vacation break from social media a long one that is and he wasn't on Twitter until six months later when he was suspended 